Hello everyone, welcome for this new tutorial. Today we're gonna have a look on how to create some custom shapes for your rigs. So here, this is the add-on I will show you after that. So here we have a rig functional and finished, but um, sometimes the basic interface of the rig and the basic visualization of the rig is a little, um, yeah, it takes too much space into the interface. So, and it's not really organized. So we will try to make it better. And the original way in Blender, for example, if I take here this uh, hand bone here, uh, the original way it's you go there, you open here the custom shapes. So here, let's say, for example, we will add I will go in object mode and add a mesh here, like a circle and put it there, for example. So the original way you select your bone here in pose mode, you go there into custom objects, you select the object over there, then you have to manage the rotation uh, and to find the right angle, the right axis. So, and it's, it's a little tricky, it's a little complicated. It doesn't work really well it's not really user friendly uh, then after you have to manage the scale so maybe you have to select everything here to put it at 0 0.8 to have the right size and everything and then after you want to translate it so you will find the right angle again oh it's not that one okay it's not the right axis so yeah it's that one you see it's it's a lot of clicks and then after you will want to change the colors maybe and you will go there to select the colors and you will have to make this to all the bones one by one one per one uh, except for the colors there is a way but yeah there is a little add-on that will help us for that so by the way here this is a model i did create it for uh for full training and if you want to know how uh, to create this kind of robot, how to, ke to create this robot here, so this full robot with the rig and how to animate it as well. Uh, you will find the link into the description to, uh, to check this course, okay? Uh, so I will come back with the original shape and we'll remove everything here uh, to come back with the basic interface there. Okay, good. So now let's come back to the add-on. So I will go into edit preferences into the add-on section here, and I will just uninstall the add-on just to show you the process of the installation, the installation process. So here we will go into the web. I will give you a, li a link into the description. Uh, you will have to download this widget, this, um, this add-on here from uh, from this address, you go to code and you just download the zip file, okay? And then you will just go come back into Blender, into the add-ons, and you will click onto the little arrow there. Install from disk, you will go into downloads, find the zip file, you don't unzip anything, and you will find the bone widget installed there after. And if everything went well, I'm in Blender 4.5, the last version. Uh, it works pretty well into this version. Uh, here I have now the rigging tab that, it, that did appear there and I have the bone widget that is here. So how it works basically, it's very simple. You just select the shape, you just select the bone and you create and that's it and it's finished. You can slide on it if you want a little, manage the global size, so it's not three axes here, uh, that doesn't help a lot. And you can manage even the rotation if needed, okay? And what is very powerful is that you can make it into not only one bone, but recreate the same shape for all these bones at once. So it, it helps a lot. Let's say, for example, here, we don't want exactly the same size, so you can come back to it, remake, create, and manage the size here. Very easy, very powerful, simple and efficient. That's what we like as creators. We don't want to lose too much time. So here, let's say, I want this one a little bigger. Maybe that one as well has to be a little bigger. 
Okay, perfect. And then after it's really easy, you can change shapes. Like let's say for the shoulders here, uh, I will change the shape and maybe select this double arrow here because it will be a rotation, okay? A rotation bone like this, okay? So here, I would like to uh, create this for the two shoulders. I will just create like this, okay? Uh, then after, I just have to manage the size again, so maybe a little less big, and the slide to put it near the shoulders, and the rotation. So the rotation, you have to find the one. It's always a little tricky for that, but uh, basically it will be the x-axis 90 degrees here, and we will have more or less the right rotation. Maybe slide it a little more. Okay. So for that one, I'm, hap I'm happy. And for this one, I will recreate that one and put a little minus like this. I will have the right orientation, okay? And as you can see, it's really easy and doesn't take a lot of time. So now that this one, these ones are made, I will come back with these ones and recreate these ones. Just very simple. And we can just put uh, 90 degrees for that. Okay, it will work well. Now for the knees, so we have a knee orientation like that, that follows here the foot that you can move like this, okay? So we have the orientation of this, like this too. So for the knees, we will take maybe another shape, so maybe this sphere shape like this. Let's create that one, increase the size, put it at maybe two, yeah and slide it a little like this, a little in front of the, of the knee like this. Perfect. We'll make the same for these ones. Maybe we'll find another shape. Like for example, um, these ones could be okay. Let's create another. So, oh, this one is far too big. So let's put it at one just for a start. Remove the slide at zero, okay? Remove the rotation here and rotate into the into the z axis at 90 degrees okay and you will have this kind of shape okay i will put this with this slide okay and now we have the right shape for the feet so very easy to catch okay you don't have to go inside the character now you you just have to catch it like this it's very easy and very powerful this method so now uh, we have a bone to open and close the ends like this okay we'll make the same kind of uh, double arrow kind of shape maybe that one will work well and it's perfect okay Maybe this one we can just recreate it and put minus 90 degrees like this. We have the right rotation. Okay. And now you can see that it's very more, it's really more visual and it works very well. So for the fingers, I will use the C shortcut to select the fingers as I want here. Okay. Same, same thing here. I don't want to select something else. Okay, and I will find maybe this one. It could be just a simple line if you don't want to take too much space. Okay, so let's say I want a simple line. I will, I will just create like this. I will remove all the axis, all the slide, and all the sides. Put, uh, yeah, everything at one. And here you can see that you will have this kind of shape. But it's not really visual to catch we don't really know when the finger is straight, who is who. So what I like to use, I prefer to use um, that one here. Okay. And yeah, it's far easier to select the bones like this. Or we could use circles as well, but we don't want, maybe we want to change a little. So let's make the, the antennas here. Okay, uh, the antennas, I want a kind of double arrow or the roll. This one will, will work well. Okay, um, the size is far too big. The rotation X doesn't help. Okay, rotation Y doesn't help. And the Z has to be at 90 degrees. And we have the right shape. So maybe the size a little bigger. 
and for the eyes because here i have a control to open the eyes here and the eyes here as you can see so yeah this bone uh will be far better with the right shape so let's go there maybe we will find something like mm, this well, yeah we we'll work this one okay we don't want some rotation like this uh we want the global size to be a little bigger we want the slide to be more here and for the rotation we want to keep the y at 90 degrees i think yeah something like that it will work better okay maybe slide a little less and now we we have something far more visual more understandable of who is who okay and like this i can open very easily the eye okay so let's make a little expression like this okay open this one as well okay good and here we have the root so the root we have really a special shape for that the root here to make a create to remove the rotation increase uh, remove the slide and increase the global size to have something like this so this is very uh, very powerful and helps a lot to uh, have something that will be more easy to manage after for the animation let's continue that and continue to customize so you can stop here if you're happy with that but if you want to uh, have even more uh, customization you can even Put some colors into that so let's say i want to select everything that is in the in into the left side here okay so here i have my selection and i will use a bone color maybe the red one and make a set bone color and all these bones are red now i can make the same into the other side okay with the right side select everything here and maybe put something opposite like a, a green one okay so it will be very easy when you are inside view create maybe a wall cycle or something like this you will know that red is the left side and green is the right side and after it really it's really up to you and really how to to you want to organize that uh, let's go here maybe we want something in blue okay so let's select a bone color like that uh, this one has to be in green so really th this possibility to have a multiple selection of bones and create the shapes and the colors very easily like this it helps a lot because uh, when you make it by hand bone by bone it's really tricky and takes a lot of time so maybe that one uh, let's say this pink one here okay and now see that the the customization is finished it took maybe 10 minutes to manage it with the explanations and everything so yeah it's a really a good system and a good tool to have when you manage some rigs into blender so that's it for this little video don't hesitate to check to check the full course to see how to make this nice robot and taught how to animate it and yeah that's it guys for this video enjoy happy blending and see you later